The anticipated Tick Tick updates are here. The desktop versions have been updated to version 5.0, and the mobile versions have been updated to 7.0. In this video, we'll discuss what the updates are to the desktop version 5.0. Hello, I'm Joshua Best. I'm going to look at the web version. And it's interesting because the web version doesn't necessarily show a version number in the app itself that I could find, although it does follow the desktop apps. We can see the web version has been updated by going to the question mark icon on the lower left corner of the app and clicking on the view change log. This takes us to the change log of the web app. Here we can see it was updated on October 31st and it's brand new version 5.0, it says. First thing mentioned, a fresh, cleaner, and lighter UI. It took me a while to find any updates to the UI, but I was able to find two. First one is on the calendar view. They've changed the look and the position of where you move a day forward or a day back. So this is what it used to look like. And now here's version 5.0. The second UI change I was able to find is actually in the settings where you turn on and off some of the features. So if you go into settings and then click the features section, this spot here where you turn on and off the Eisenhower matrix, the habit tracker and Pomodoro timer, this has actually changed. And now it kind of gives you a bit of a glance at what that feature looks like. But please let me know in the comments if you noticed any other differences in the desktop or web app UI. All right, second thing mentioned, enhanced calendar view. Scroll up and down freely in the monthly view and swipe left or right in the weekly view for intuitive schedule browsing. So on the month view, here's how the old calendar view behaved. When you scrolled with your mouse wheel, it would jump a month at a time. And now here's the new version, 5.0, where it's more of a smooth scroll. For the swipe left or right in the weekly view, you guys will have to help me on this one in the comments because I tried swiping and scrolling all the ways that I could think of in the weekly view, but I couldn't make it move to the next week or the previous week. So please let me know in the comments if you've figured it out. Next is the multi-day calendar view. So this is a new view in the calendar, which is pretty much like an adjustable week view. It gives you the same view as the week view, but then you can adjust the number of days you are seeing up or down. The multi-week calendar view. This is another new view. This one is similar to the month view. But again, you can adjust the number of weeks you see up or down. Redesigned reminder pop-up setting interface. So let's start by looking at how the old pop-up looked. And here's the new version. And one thing you can do right from the pop-up notification is start a focus timer. Last on the list is improved list creation. So when you come over here to the left side and click on the plus button to create a new list, this is how it used to look. And this is the new version 5.0, which does look quite a bit nicer in my opinion. And you can choose if you want the new list to be in a list view, Kanban, or timeline view. And you get a bit of a preview of it on the right side. So that covers all of the updates to desktop version 5.0. And in my opinion, they're all improvements, except for possibly that UI change that they made to the uh, 
daily navigation in the calendar view. I kind of like the way that used to look rather than what they changed it to. Do these updates warrant a major 5.0 release? I'm not sure. But I do know that TickTick -Tick continues to iterate on the product and continuously improve it. And that I like. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.